Our guest today is Aaron Briggs, a lawyer out of Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher in the San Francisco area. Aaron's become one of my go-to people for all things corporate and securities law related. He used to work at General Electric doing some innovative things with the proxy materials, the proxy statement, the annual report. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. Plan offers must be registered. Sure. Yeah, d definitely. Um, you know, the, the SA is supposed to be kind of a simpler registration statement, right, than the S3, S1, but it ends up actually being really complicated, as we're going to talk about in this video. So what offers must be registered, right? So the, the basic rule is that securities offered under an employee benefit plan have to be registered on a 33 Act registration statement unless there's an exemption available. And so for a typical reporting company, in this context, uh, you might be able to rely on Reg D or Section 4A2 uh, to exempt plan offers in certain circumstances. And to figure out whether one of those exemptions applies, you'll need to tick through the various requirements of those exemptions. And it largely turns on who can participate in the plan and whether some or all of the participants in the plan are accredited investors. So the types of plans that end up usually falling into these exemptions are your one-off inducement awards for your CEO or other senior executives, uh, director stock plans if they're separate from your omnibus plan, uh, not, and, and also non-qualified deferred comp plans that are offered to a select group of folks at the top of the house. In addition to those exemptions, right, and in some cases, what you're dealing with might not be a security at all under the traditional SEC test. Um, and so, for example, the SEC has come out and said that bonus stock that's offered to non-manager employees isn't considered a security that needs to be registered. So apart from all that, pretty much all other benefit plans in which employees are getting stock or a stock incentive award or in which the employee can invest in an employer stock typically need to regist be registered. So this would include uh, your omnibus stock incentive plans, awards assumed in connection with M&A deals, employee stock purchase plans, and 401k plans. 